Hey guys, how y'all doing today? I hope you guys are having a better day than I am right now. Because get this, get this not get this nonsense. I just found out something very important here. Get this. We also wanted to let you know that starting September 6th, you got to be kidding me on this one, we will be increasing the price for PlayStation Plus 12-month subscription globally across all benefit plans. Oh, you got to be putting me on with this, with this crap. Sony, you, do you think everybody has, like, has the same amount of money, has the amount of money that you do? Do you really think that? Hmm? I didn't think so. You think so, but you clearly don't. Let's go on. The price adjustment will enable us to continue changing, I mean, bringing high-quality games and value-added benefits to your PlayStation Plus subscription service. Really? So, in essentials, you basically brought exactly nothing. All you get in that is is the free games, and that's it. So basically, you ain't changed a thing about the essentials listing. No, it's the same. It's the same old thing. Oh my god, guys, get ready to hear this. Oh my god, this is what this is why Sony really needs to lower the price on these things. On all of them, and I'm not kidding about this. Here are the new prices for the PlayStation Plus 12-month subscription plans. For PlayStation Plus Essential, you are paying 80 bucks US, 71.99 euro, um, 59.99 GBP, whatever that is, or and 6,800 yen. Oh my god, Sony, take that price down about, say, $40, please. At least then, at least then maybe you're actually, you know, compensating your viewer, your, your, your customers. Oh my god. Okay. PlayStation Plus Extra 12-month subscription. Are you guys ready to hear this one? Whether you're not, here we go. $134.99 USD, $135. You have got to be kidding me. $125.99 Euro, $99.99 GBP, Great Britain Pounds, I guess. I don't know. 11,700 yen. Oh my god, Sony. Take that down, take that one out of the price tag, and you got it, and you got it right. Thirty-four ninety-nine should be that should be the amount you pay for for extra. That is way too much to pay for a subscription service where you get a little bit more, but you but still. That's a ripoff. And the PlayStation Plus Premium 12-month subscription. Oh, my God. This has got... This has got to be a... I got to be... I got to be seeing this wrong. Get get this... Get this price, you guys. Get this. $159.99. That's basically $160. Bucks. And in, in Euro? That's $151.99 Euro. 119.99 Great Britain pound, I guess what GBP stands for, I guess, or 13,900 yen. Sony, take that one away from this from this nonsense. Make premium 60 bucks. That makes more sense. Does it not? Yes, it does. Oh my god. 
The new prices for the 12-month subscription will remain at a discounted rate when compared to purchasing the 1-month or 3-month subscriptions over a 12-month period. Oh my god. you got to be kidding me. For current 12-month subscribers, the price increase will not take effect until your next renewal date that occurs on or after November 6th. Wait. I thought you said it was September 6th. Make up your mind, please. Please make up your mind. However, any membership changes you make on or after September 6th, such as upgrades, downgrades, or buying additional time, will update your plan reflecting the new prices. Oh, Jesus Christ. So many... Are you aware, and I'm not sure if you ever thought about this, that some people, again, I'll say it, I'll, I said it before, I'll say it again, that not everyone has the same amount of money you do. Not everyone is rich. Some people are still struggling to pay their bills, pay their rent, pay their mortgage, and things like that. So you're not thinking about them, are you? No. You can change your case to your subscription at any time. Details at some link that, you know, I don't really know. We'll notify current subscribers of these changes via email and we'll have additional details on our website soon. Really? Really, Sony? Really? So, let me get this straight. Let me see if I got this straight in my head so I don't misunderstand this. You're telling me that here in the U.S. to get Essential, PlayStation Plus Essential membership, yet you're going to have to pay 80 bucks? Oh, jeez Louise. And for PlayStation Plus Extra, it's going to be 135 bucks. And for PlayStation Plus Premium, it's going to be 160 bucks. Sony, what you need to do right now is you need to change those prices, like, say, to a lower number. Because those prices are way too much, people. That's way too much. Because paying... 80 bucks for a 12 month subscription where all you get is free games and that's it is not a good is not a good value. Again, like I said earlier, take that number down to about 39.99 a month. I mean 39.99 for a year and that's more reasonable cuz that can be worked with. And for the other two memberships Take that one out of the price here in the U.S., and I almost guarantee that people might actually think that you haven't completely lost your marbles. Because paying a hundred and thirty-five bucks a year for extra and a hundred and sixty bucks a year for premium—that's insanity. That's insane. Are you kidding me, Sony? Come on. You Sony, you have you have either lost your mind or you guys really don't know what you're doing. Because what you what you're doing here is you're literally robbing people blind. Oh, and let me add this in before before you know before I forget. Sony, I really do think you need to do a redraw of, the, of of September's PlayStation Plus free games, huh? Exactly. Cause really, really. Look, I don't want to say that you guys committed oh a bad idea or some other thing that I'm thinking right now, which is um. A crime against humanity, but uh, offering 
Saints Row 2022 as one of the free games. Oh my god. You're insane if you think that. Do you not know how much how bad that game is? That game is literally broken garbage. So for you to offer it as a free game is just the dumbest thing you could do. And I don't want to say basically that you did commit a crime against humanity, but I think a redraw might be in order. Because what you did is you basically took a bad idea, well, two bad ideas, I guess I, guess I should say, one being this gar this garbage the increase of the price of the PlayStation Plus, and two, the drawings you did for this month's PlayStation Plus for the, for September's I mean, yeah, for September's PlayStation Plus. I mean, really, Sony? Don't you think it's about time to? Oh, I don't know. Maybe make Saints Row 2022 like free to play, like say forever, because that game is just bro is so is so broken that literally you should either make it free to play or you should pay people to play it, and they get and they would get to keep the game forever. So that's that's the important thing right there. But Sony. <sighs> This right here, this nonsense right here, right here, and right here, shame on you. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I don't even know what you were thinking when you did this. I really don't. Seriously, you must be thinking like every PlayStation Plus customer is like rich or something. You must be thinking that everyone has like a lot of money. You must be thinking that because if if you're if you're thinking every customer has like a lot of money, then maybe then maybe you don't realize that some that some of that some of us do not. Have that kind of money. Yeah. You're not thinking that now are you? No. No you are not. Some of us. Some of us actually have to pay. You know. Some of us have to pay the bill. Well we all have to pay the bills. And some of us have to. You know. Pay for things when they when they break down in our, in our homes, things like that. So you're not thinking about that either, are you? So yeah, I don't I don't want to say what you did here was wrong, but Sony, I really think a redraw might be in order here. I really do. So it might be a good idea to redraw to redraw the PlayStation Plus for this month. And just seriously thinking about lowering those prices. Yeah, because, see, lowering those prices would actually be more reasonable. Instead of increasing the price, you should lower them. Seriously. Because this is ridiculous. Make, basically making PlayStation Plus... 80 bucks a month, I mean, 80 bucks a year for a year, PlayStation Extra, 135 bucks for a year, and PlayStation Premium, 160 bucks for a year. That's insanity. That's criminally insane. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of this headache, headache of news? You guys think that maybe Sony really needs to lower the prices on their on their plans on their on their subscription plans 
or are you guys just gonna go ahead and just pay them as they as they are gonna be? Because guys, you know, I seriously think it's time for Sony to lower the prices. I really do. I'm not kidding. So guys, go ahead and give me your guys. Just go ahead and give me your thoughts in the comments down below. Okay. Also, like the video if you guys want to. That you're right. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Share this video around if you want to. I prefer it if you did. And click that bell to be notified of future videos. Because, guys, YouTube probably doesn't notify you when I upload a video, okay? They probably don't. And guys, remember, you guys are what makes this what makes this worth it, okay? You guys make it worth it, okay? You guys are what makes this what what has made me last as long as I have on this platform. And yes, I know that I've quit a few times. I realize that. But it's only because it's only because I get frustrated with how with how YouTube does not does not think about what they're doing. They don't think about the changes and how they're possibly affecting people, you know? So guys, you know, remember, you guys are awesome. I love y'all very much. You guys take care of yourselves. You be safe out there. And guys, till next time, later fam squad.